happy Saturday if you're watching this. Um, this is the video for my review of Brnovich Cosmetics from Belarus. Um, you'll see some of the looks that I've created through the week and then how I created this eye look today. It's pretty, it's pretty simple, but it basically shows you how beautiful the shadows are and the beautiful colors. I mix the two palettes that I purchased I purchased a pre-made one, Aquamarine, and I created one on my own using one of their empty palettes. So if this interests you, you're interested in Bernovich and seeing how these pretty colors perform, just keep on watching. <laughs> Here's the first look using my new Brnovich palette. Um, this is one that is from their shop collection and it's called Aquamarine. So I've used all the colors on my eye except for this lightest shade and that I used as highlighter. There we go. Our first look with the Brnovich palette in Aqua Marine. Pretty, right? Okay, on to the next look. Hey, good morning. We're doing our second look with Brnovich Cosmetics from Belarus. Um, today I use the palette that I made. When I decided to make this palette, I decided to try all their different formulas. So there they are there. And then um, when I decided to pick a matte, I took a matte black because I thought with these beautiful shimmery colors, the um, matte black would work really well. So they have, um, so this is like a regular shimmer shade and then they have their sparkle shades. And I think there may be a duochrome in there as well, which I think may be the purple that I've got underneath. So I use the pink and then I use the purple and then I use the black. The purple is just underneath and then the pink of course is in the inner corner. The pink is number X16 and then the purple is X22. So that's from my five pen made by me Brnovich palette. So that's our look for today. I'm really quite happy with it. Uh, yeah, and then the other stuff that I used on my face will be in the description box. So I hope you're having a great day. Um, when I'm filming this, it is Wednesday and hopefully I'll have this up for the weekend. And yeah, we'll talk to you a bit and see you in the next clip. Hey, good morning again. We're filming our third look that we've done with our Made By Me Brnovich palette, or Picked By Me. Um, today we used um, the black, this color here, and then this green here. The um, color I have in the middle of my eye here is number 167. Um, the black from yesterday and today is 106. And then this green that I have on the bottom is X20. Isn't this beautiful? I love it. So now I have used every color in this palette and then I've used every color in the aquamarine palette so after that we can try maybe do a mix um we'll see all right so again that's just today's look that we did with the Brnovich palette that I picked the five shades from okay well that's it for for right now we'll talk to you soon so on to the next clip 
Hey, hey, hey. Now we're ready to do the final look for this week. I'm going to do it on camera. So we've been spending the last um, week playing with the Bernovich palette. They're a company from Belarus. And if I remember correctly, they started in fabrics and it's been a company that's been around, I want to say like over 200 years. It's been a really long run. Um, I'll double check if I'm wrong. I'll put, I'll put a note in, but I believe that's um, when they started, but now they want to expand their creativity and they've gone into makeup. They started, I want to say also about two, three years ago, and they're hoping to break in big. And uh, I've been really enjoying their products. Um, it was Amy Loves Makeup, I believe, was where I first saw this um, this brand shown and it, everything just looked really good. And I'm always up for trying new brands. And so I went on their website, used her code for 10% off. And uh, yeah, so I used, I bought one of their pre-built palettes, the Aqua Marine palette. And then I put one together myself and trying to use all their different formulations. So if like from a matte or regular shimmer and then their more um, specialty shades. So that way I could get a, a, round, a round feel. And same thing, this palette here, it has a matte and then it has um, something from each of their different types of shades. They do other things as well, like lipstick and stuff, but I just, since I love eyeshadow the best, well, eyeshadow and lipstick, but I've got so many lipsticks and I don't know how many people are buying lipsticks besides me during the pandemic, but uh, there you have it. And uh, yeah, so it took, I wanna say a month to get here or just under a month. So that's not too bad to come from Belarus to Canada. Everything is still pretty slow, but I've been noticing that things are ticking up a teeny bit. So hopefully at one, some point we'll be back to getting shipments uh, quickly and efficiently. Okay, so let's play I'll play with some looks. So for base, I've been all week, it helps with the description box as well, I'm playing with my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I've been using her Pillow Talk lipstick, uh, cheek blush, her bronzer, Eyebrows is my normal Wonder Wax and RCMA powder on my face. And that's the base and my lips done. So we are now gonna play with eyeshadows. So I use this whole palette in one look, including the light as an eyeshadow or eyeshadow as a highlighter. And then I've been using these other colors here, doing different combinations through the week. So I've been really enjoying using the mattes to make like a big wing and then filling in with color and then doing some other colors under the bottom line. So I think I'm going to try and do the same thing, but instead of using the matte black, I think I'm going to use this matte blue to create a kind of like a big wing and then um, possibly using the sh this blue to purple shift. So it's there, like a duochrome, so it shifts from, I don't know, can you see it? It shifts from blue to purple. I'm not quite sure if you can see that on camera, but trust me, it does. And uh, yeah, so why don't we try with that? So for a base, I'm going to use, yeah, let's go and use the um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I always buy it in a tr the, the smaller um, size because I find that I don't go through it that fast because a little goes a long way. So I don't need to buy the big tube because I don't want it to go off before I've really had a chance to use it. So we're just going to pop a little bit onto our brush and then onto the eyeballs. I think next on my list, I wanna try the Danessa Myricks has an eye base that has no color. So that's on my radar and also the new Juvia's Place ones. I'm pretty excited about that because I just, anybody who knows me, I love Juvia's Place. So here we go. We can go and start the look. All right, so let's find thinner. So there we go. So there's one of my Spectrum brushes. It is the A17, so it's just got kind of like that angled. So we're gonna use that and we're going to be using the blue color that's in here. It doesn't have on the card or anything what the shades are from the palette, but it's the blue from the Aquamarine palette. So let's undo that. Oops, and then 
let's start our look. Oh, that looks pretty close. And then... So there I have the general shape that I want. So I'm going to put this brush brush away for now and then I'm going to take one that's a little bit floofier. I'm going to take this one from the Elf Mint Collection. Um, I wasn't quite fond of the mint palette. It was okay, but the brushes are good. So again, I'm going to dip into the blue from the Aquamarine palette. I like that. I think that's good. We can just leave that for now and then we can go on. I have a little bit of fallout. Um, I usually do eyes first, but I didn't have too much fallout while I've been using this through the week. But now that I've done base first, of course, you're going to have some fallout. Murphy's Law. So we'll just give it a light. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. So now that we've got the blue down, I was thinking that we wanted to do the shimmery blue to purple. So let's do that for, yeah, so let's do that for the middle. I'm going to add a little white base down and this is the kimchi base just so that we can make the color pop a little bit more. We have a nice white base. Then I'm going to take a, should I take a super floofy? Yeah, we're gonna try this one here. This is the A08, also by Spectrum. Just make sure it's clean. And then we're going to go into that shifting blue to purple. Put it on the brush and then I'm going to give it a spritz with the cover effects um, crystal elixir short form it's got a longer name but I keep tripping over it so crystal elixir it is and here we go nice right okay or as Nady would say hmm 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 <laughs> I have to channel my inner Nady from Pop Lux every once in a while. Okay, so again, we're gonna go into that fun blue and purple duochrome using the same brush and again, a spritz. And then we're gonna do the other eye. And then same thing, pressing into the crease, trying to keep our little line that matches up with the blue. Okay, I'm seriously in love with these shadows. I'm definitely going to do another order. Try, um, not sure if I'm gonna buy some more pre-made one or made some more um, using their palettes, but mm -hmm. we like it. Okay, so I'm also going to put a little bit on my finger because that always seems to be with any type of shimmery shade or duochrome shade. It always adds a little bit extra depth. Let's pop that on there. I think I may even need to buy, rebuy this color because I have a feeling I'm going to use the bejesus out of it and probably pan this. And I haven't panned an eyeshadow pal um, single or palette in a little while. And there we go I like that okay so I think I'm going to um, again taking my little dense brush I'm going to pack on some more of that matte blue from the aquamarine palette and this time I'm also going to give this a little spritz because I don't want to have any more fallout I mean how pretty is this okay so Let's do the lower lash line. I think what I want to do, since we've got the blues on top, let's do green on the bottom. So I'm going to, we've got, I've got two different ones here. So I've got the, this one from the Aquamarine and then I've got this one here as well. And this one I do have a number for. This is the X20. 
So, and then that pretty blue to purple is the X22. A nice extreme shade. So yeah, so why don't we do that? So I'm going to get another, another finer brush. Yeah, we'll use this one here. So I'm just gonna take a fine brush and then I'm going to dip it in. So I'm going to do the slightly less shimmery one on the outside edge and then the, the X22, no, not X22, X20 um, on the inner. So let's, and then give this a spray as well. And let's take this. Yeah. Shiny. Alrighty, so, and then I think the last thing we need before mascara is to do something in the inner corner. And then I think we're going to use this pretty one here. It seems to have like a blue, slightly, it's blue yeah it's definitely blue I don't see too much green in there but like it almost seems like it goes from a matte to a shimmer it's interesting so we'll take a small but floofy ended brush and this is from AOA it's the F124 F124 so we will stick that into that pretty shade that I, I used that as a highlighter in one of the earlier look I think my first look and I did the aquamarine palette all by itself. Yeah. All right. So I think that's going to be it for the eyes. The only thing left, um, I'm going to be needing to wear my glasses to edit. So I'm not going to put any lashes on today. But I will put on some of the Spectrum um, mascara I've been using. It is the Dark Matter. I've been quite liking it. It's a little bit wet of a formula, but I really do like this brush. And there we go. Just a little mascara. Um, just want to show off the eyeshadow. If I wear the lashes that, that I usually like to wear, you're not going to see half of the eyeshadow, especially when, when you have hooded eyes. But there we go. This is the look. I hope we like it. Again, I've been loving the brand Burnovich. Got their two palettes. Definitely going to buy more. I love indie makeup. It's my jam. Um, have you tried Burnovich? Let me know if you have and let me know what you think or are you wanting to try them now that you've seen how fabulous they are especially that blue to purple um yeah i wish on camera it would show as beautiful as it does in person so if you liked this look liked this review um if you feel so inclined give us a like comment subscribe maybe even hit that notification bell but if you don't that's okay we can still be friends we can still talk makeup because who doesn't like to talk makeup all right so that's the end of today's um video on burnovich cosmetics from belarus and uh, we will talk to you soon